Now, since you brought up our solo signs that said white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. And I'm asking my mother, my father, my grandparents, my great grandparents, why? They were saying, that's where it is. Don't get in the way, don't get in trouble. But Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. inspired me to get in trouble. And I got in good trouble. Necessary. <laughs> That is not right, not fair, not just. You have a moral obligation to say something or to do something or find a way to make a little noise. You have to speak out and speak up and not be silent. To be here with Christine King Farris had been for her brother. I don't know what would have happened to me. I listened to Dr. King on old radio. He inspired me. I met Rosa Parks when I was 17. I met Dr. King when I was 18. And I have not looked back since. So sometimes you just have to go with the force. And Dr. King taught us how to love. And he would say over and over again, never hate but hate is too heavy a burden to bear. Just love everybody and do what you can to leave this little piece of real estate we call Earth, this little planet, a little cleaner, a little greener, and a little more peaceful for generation yet unborn. You'll be all right. <laughs>